You can say anything you want about him, but you cannot criticize his fatherhood. Hi, this is Mindy Roberts from themommyblog.net. Do you feel as if you chose the ideal partner with whom to raise children? Do you think that your spouse is a wonderful father to your children, or do you think maybe you could have choose, chosen just a little bit differently? I was married for 12 years and together for 15 years. Our children are 7, 9, and 11 years old now. And did I pick the right guy to grow old with? No. Did I pick a guy who would be a wonderful husband to me and to whom I would be a wonderful wife? Hell no. No. Whoops. Did I pick the right guy to be the father of my children? Absolutely yes. My main criteria for who I wanted to marry was if taking all of the lust out of it, like if I had a child, a male child, who grew up to be exactly like this man, would I be proud to tell everyone that I was that kid's mom? Would I be proud to have raised a kid like that? And with Brian, the answer to that question is yeah. And that was a big part of why I think we ended up together. I would be totally happy if Hank grows up to be a carbon copy replica of Brian with all of his flaws and all of his strengths. Um, everything that he is, to me, is what I want in a male child. A couple things come up for me about this. Number one, I hear this a lot about people. He's an amazing father. And I'm always like, what does that constitute, being an amazing father? I almost think in a way because is it because we're comparing them to our fathers and there were different expectations for an earlier generation? Does it mean if they're involved? Does it mean if they're kind? Does it mean if they're not cruel? You know, I, I, I think it just like kind of hits me in my solar plexus like kind of like, ugh. I just feel like I hear that a lot. It's almost become this cliche thing. They don't, like people don't say, he's a great father, he's a good father. It's always like, he's an amazing father. My father, I felt, didn't stick up for me. My brother didn't stick up for me. Um, my ex-husband, wonderful guy, everybody loves him, didn't stick up for me. There are just a few things you really need to have in a marriage, and we didn't have a lot of those really basic things. So, no, I don't think he's good husband material for me, wonderful for someone else, but he's a fantastic father and a co-parent. Sometimes we can just look for someone who's really kind, and then they're a pushover, and I certainly don't or never wanted to be in a position of having to fight battles for my spouse. I wanted somebody who I felt like when we joined forces, we would be stronger as a team. Like Mindy, it sounds like you chose somebody who makes you a stronger parent as a team, right? And uh, that was really what I wanted for me and for my kids. On our very first date, Mark brought um, his son Oliver, my now little stepson. Uh, and that was cool in for a lot of ways. Number one, um, we went out on one of Mark's few nights off from his work and those are one of the nights that he has his son and he didn't like try to push the son off on some babysitter like yeah I got a live one kiddo you know the old man in this room you know uh, he brought him with him which I thought was great and showed what a priority in his life his son was and their their relationship was great my stepson was just a just a wonderful mature little kid I, I, I loved their interaction so I got to kind of see the future a little bit. It's so healthy and so good for kids to have fathers in their life and it's almost like an epidemic in this country the way fathers are being split off from their families or are choosing to not have anything to do with their families and whatnot. Like I think a lot of the trauma that we face as people has to do with missing one parent or the other. Even though we had not a very fun divorce, we have had a blast raising the children together. He's the fun dad, does all the sports, he's rough and tumble, he go, takes camping, he does all the great things. I'm the cuddly mom, you know, I help with the homework and um, I don't know, we just have a different way of approaching things. He sees them all the time, we live a mile apart, we've agreed never to move away from one another. One of us leaves town, the other one goes too. We've just made a vow. I really want to know from women how you handle it if you don't think you pick the right person. I mean, Mindy and Maggie feel they did pick a good guy to be their baby's daddy. But if you didn't, how do you handle that? Because you can't return the dad. You can't exchange him. Do you keep him as part of the kid's life? Do you try to move states? What do you do? Join the Momversation at momversation.com.